season opener of the ADAC GT Masters 2018 in Ossersleben. The Super Sports Car League enters its 12th season in the Magdeburger border. Also, the ADAC Formula 4 and ADAC TCR Germany will be staging their first races. New manufacturers and big names, fans of the ADAC GT Masters can look forward to an exciting season. Two new brands, Ferrari is back, Honda is new. We have big names in the driver's squad with high quality like Timo Scheider and Timo Bernhard, former champions of DTM and WEC. First race, first surprise. The rookie duo Max Hofer and Philip Ellis beat the experienced drivers of the series to victory in the Audi R8 LMS from Phoenix Racing. Well, Max delivered a perfect qualifying this morning and uh, kind of unexpected. I mean, we know that we were fast and had some good pace, but uh, that he put it on pole was just amazing. And then his uh, first stint as well was almost close to perfect. And, um, you know, my first stint then coming out of uh, the pits right before the Lambo as well. And from there on, he was pushing me the, uh, the whole stint. And uh, I was kind of happy when, when I saw the checkered flag. In the second race, the GRT Grassa team manages a double victory. Ferrari's in third place at its comeback event. Liram Zendeli dominates the opening weekend in the ADAC Formula 4. The US racing driver wins the first two races and thus leads the overall standings. I really didn't expect that I'm going to win both races. Um, it's an amazing feeling and it's amazing what a great job this team is doing. And uh, yeah, now 50 points for me, championship leader. In race three, the British driver Oliver Caldwell celebrates his very first triumph in ADAC's Young Talent Series. Premier victory also in the ADAC TCR Germany. Mike Halder is at the top of the podium for the first time in the Touring Car Series on Sunday. In the first race, the Austrian Harold Prochek was fastest. A successful start for the ADAC GT Masters at Oschersleben. The next stop is Most in the Czech Republic.